the spaceships from elsewhere? I would say, what is the evidence? Where is the physical evidence? And if there's no physical evidence, no page stolen from the captain's log, no scraping of alien metals that our metallurgists can look at, no photography done by several independent people of uh, things that could only be extraterrestrial spacecraft. If there's nothing like that, then I say anecdotal stories don't, but at the same time, the stuff of life is absolutely everywhere. Comets to the outer solar system, the cold, dark, near vacuum between the stars are all loaded with uh, complex organic molecules, the very sort that you would uh, want to have for the origin of life. We see uh, forming planetary systems everywhere. We know that uh, the evolutionary process is nothing unique to the Earth. It really looks as if life ought to be everywhere. In other cases, we're reproducible. That is, there's that source in the sky that has just sent us a tantalizing signal. Let's look at that place in the sky some more. Go back to minutes later. Go back to it weeks later, months later, years later. You've never got never another. get anything from it. But I mean, it, it's clear if we don't search, we will not find. But are we alone? Are we who have evolved on this one lonely planet in this tiny sliver of time and immensity of ages? Are we the only one? And if we're not, what are those other guys like? Uh, it seems to me it would be the most extraordinary discovery in, in the history of the world.